Gary Belair, Ohio. Inside the house, above the basement where DJ bloodies Brad, there is a white bowl of lemons sick with desire. Watching this movie based loosely on his life, I have to start there, sunlight, jeweling the canary fruit, then the afternoon jeweling, an argument over a weed eater, then one man loving the other, and the other staging a robbery of the house, chaotic as a negative scratch to hell with a paper clip. Across the state, four years earlier and hours away, I lie awake again on my grandfather's daybed. I wait to jewel in the sun, scrolling through neat rows of men on an app. Notifications quiet, scrolling through whole fields of men. The same way years earlier I believed God scrolled through boys wherever I slept to choose which ones won't walk home from the next moon-stained pickup, the next sunless barn, the next cherry-stained confessional. After he shot, sorry, there's more. After he shot Brad, DJ drives to the closest lake, scalps the gun post-dusk. I never know Brad, never knew Brad, and now I never will, but I know this. Some houses close their mouths while boys are still dancing on their tongues. I watch DJ pick up his wife and his daughter, then call the police. His wife thumbs the god around her neck. He was like a brother, DJ says. Robbery. Below the waterline, his daughter sits on the front stoop, obedient in sunlight. At dusk, God jams the sun back into his socket, pops a pill, falls asleep. A group of women pool reward money while stapling Brad's face to birch trees. Is this really what God wants for us? Is it? <laughs>